Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Sanders, and this is our chalet. So come on in. This area over here is where I start most of my days, and I've created it to be kind of the perfect little work spot for me, um, as well as a place to do some artwork. So most mornings I get up, I make some coffee, and I usually just sit right over here. And I'm super fortunate in that I'm able to run my business just from my iPad right here. So it's a, you know, it's a cellular enabled iPad. And as long as I have service, I can work just about anywhere. So initially this spot had a table, you know, that just came with a chalet. And I took it out so that I can make more room for Sanders because he's, you know, kind of big. And <clears throat> I thought he might want more room to lay down and kind of spread out. But then um, since I've been working in here and I wanted to have some space to make some artwork, I decided to recently get this table. And it's just, it's like a, a real wood table, so it's pretty cool. Um, but it actually folds up, the legs fold in. And so when I'm moving, all I have to do is just throw it on the bed. Um, and it travels really easily like that. I haven't like reupholstered yet. Maybe at some point I will, but all I did so far was just get these Mexican blankets to cover up this kind of ugly blue cloth on the seat cushions. So underneath the benches, I keep things that I don't use like super often. So I've got my shoes and my boots, and my winter clothes and my jackets. Um, so it's good to have just in case, but I haven't really needed them. Um, recently. Down here I have my <coughs> solar panel. I just hang that um, from the handle on the outside and so that's what I use to charge my Goal Zero and power my iPad and my phone and my lights. I've got my yoga mat and my paddle. I am camping on Lake Mead right now so I've been doing some paddle boarding. So that's just over there. I like to um, put the yoga mat just right up front of the chalet and I've got an app that I use for my strength workouts. So it's been like really amazing just doing my workouts on my yoga mat in front of the chalet. Um, I've got my foam roller, my running pack. So just all the things um, that I need to be active and you know really enjoy the trails and everything around where I park. Yeah, I mean, it's really amazing. Everything truly does fit. Um, just between those and I'll show you later the storage under the bed but um, these two areas definitely hold a lot surprising amount of stuff and then I have kind of like my basket of art supplies and so this area is like totally set up for you know doing my work um, getting creative and making some artwork and then just storing stuff that I don't necessarily need um, on a regular basis you know day to day never actually been in an A-frame um, pop-up camper before, but when I was looking for one, I saw one on Craigslist and I really wasn't familiar with them, but I just like totally fell in love with uh, the shape of it. Um, I did a little research and realized it was super light. It was only like 1,100 pounds. And so I can actually just tow it with my um, Subaru Forester. And so that's really nice because then I can have the all-wheel car, um, basically take it anywhere and then um, just tow it you know, with, with that. So I've been living in it for about eight months. Um, five of those months were still in Bend. I was living in the forest in Bend. And then I just started traveling about three months ago. And this has truly been the perfect um, setup for me to be on the road. So typically um, I'll spend like a few hours in the morning doing some work over in that area. And then I'll go for a run and then I'll come over to my kitchen. <laughs> and this is where I make my lunch and I cook my dinner. So I have a propane stove um, right here, double burner propane stove, and then a propane fridge. And it's really surprisingly big. I keep it pretty stocked with meat and veggies and all the good stuff. I keep my kitchen stuff down below the bed. I actually just have one pan and I cook all my meals in one pan. We got the water. The chalet actually has a water tank um, that I could fill up. I don't even know how big it is. 
but I, I don't know, I just like find it easier to keep water in my car. I keep a seven gallon in my car and then I have my little two gallon here and I just operate between the two. So usually, you know, I'm camped in places that are close enough to town that it's not a big deal to run into town and get some water, get some propane. Um, so like for the fridge and the stove, usually one tank of propane lasts for a whole month. And so I've got two tanks. I'm pretty set for a while. Um, water, I have to fill more often, especially with Sanders. He's a big dog and he drinks a lot of water. Um, so unless we're parked like on a lake like this where there's a water source, he is definitely consuming a lot of the water. So usually like to get some groceries, which I really like fresh vegetables and to get the water, I'll go into town probably like every few days um, and just to kind of restock and get what I need. So this is kind of like my nightstand and I've always got a big stack of books because um, I'm a terrible reader and then I'm reading like 15 books at any given time. And I've got my journal. I've been carving out time each morning to do some journaling. I've got my goal zero, which is very low right now. <laughs> I, I went on a run, do a hot spring today, and then I hung out in town for a little bit. So I kind of missed like the main sunshine uh, because the sun basically kind of hides behind the rock. It comes out for a few hours and, and then it goes behind another rock. And so I have to have my solar panel hanging at the right time. And I was gone for that. So we'll be at 20%. It's okay. I might not have lights tonight, but I don't mind. Got my Bluetooth speaker. I listen to music a lot because it's usually pretty quiet and it's kind of nice to have music while I'm working. Um, in my drawers, just got my random stuff, my supplements and bath wipes. Got my silverware my lighter for my propane stove, banana grams and some random stuff. And then my pantry down there, I've got my spices, my coffee, my Insta fuel. So my bed, it's a full size bed. Um, initially when I got it, I, I bought a full size gel, like memory foam mattress, thinking that would be super comfortable, um, but it was just like a little too tight and I'll show you the bed lifts up and all my storage is underneath and it was just so tight that I couldn't actually lift the bed up. So I just have, well, it's like pretty thin. It's not a very thick mattress. So I ended up buying one, you know, mattress topper that was good, but still wasn't super comfortable. So then I bought another <laughs> mattress topper. And so I have two mattress toppers and it's actually really comfortable. I have pillows to make it look nice and cozy and also just give me like another space to spread out in the chalet so I can either you know like sit over there on that bench or sit over there on that bench or I can sit over here and it doesn't feel like I'm you know just being in bed all day um, so a lot of times I'll just kind of like curl up in the little corner over here um, and read or draw or, or whatever that's kind of my my cozy reading space so the bed um, lifts up and it has two struts and so I can just prop it up and this is where I keep all of my kitchen supplies and it's kind of like my little pantry and it's nice because this door opens and so I can access the stuff like my kitchen stuff really easily. Um, I have like a decent amount of clothes down here. I don't really wear very many. <laughs> I kind of just like take off the tops of the of the baskets um, and just kind of keep using the same stuff over and over again so I could probably get rid of a lot but kind of nice to have, I guess. And extra set of sheets, some towels, paper towels, and uh, that's about it. Um, initially moved out to Bend to start a business and I ran that business for two years just me and then I got it to the point um, actually just this past summer I ended up partnering with someone else and we hired some employees and so now I'm actually able to just run my business from the road um, and it's called Roots Art and Nature School and we have a kindergarten and a first grade and we teach art classes as well so yeah I've been um, working on the road for about three months now and all I do, my whole setup, is just my iPad, 
with my cell plan on it and I, this is kind of like my little office and this is where I start my day, just have some coffee and I usually just kind of, you know, have a few hours of work each morning that I do. Um, I do a lot of curriculum development and just kind of a lot of the creative stuff, um, all the kind of stuff that you can run from the road. I'm texting with my employees, our staff all the time. I'm ordering supplies and just kind of taking care of all this stuff that I really wasn't sure if I'd be able to do from a distance, um, but I've got a really good team and it's been um, actually really awesome. So, you know, I've been traveling for a little bit now and I get super inspired by the places that I go and I've been making art for, for many years. Um, so, you know, a few of the things um, that I've made, I decided to go ahead and, and decorate uh, my chalet with. And so just made a few um, drawings, you know, that I have up here inspired by, in particular, just like the connection to nature that I get to experience living in the chalet. And recently, like I said, I started playing with some metal art. So I made this little window hanging, I don't know, <laughs> um, inspired actually by the place that I'm at now, the sun rising over the, the rock, getting to watch that each morning. So with uh, the A-frame shape of the chalet, um, you know, decorating, maximizing the space could potentially be like a little challenging. Uh, my artwork, because the A-frame folds up when I travel, I had to hang it with Velcro. So I can easily take my artwork off the walls, fold everything up. Um, and I really tried to figure out how to use the, the space, you know, as efficiently as possible. And so up here in my kitchen is just a gear line that I bought several years ago when I was doing a lot of road tripping in my, in my Subaru. And I just had it strung in the car then um, to hang some stuff and I just repurposed it. And so it's hanging a bunch of my kitchen stuff now and my potato sack. <laughs> and so up here is artwork from an artist in Bend. It's kind of my little reminder of home um, while I'm on the road. So this whole um, compartment here is a super big storage bin. So I can keep my um, inflatable paddleboard in here and some camping gear. Um, I've got my art supplies, my zero degree sleeping bag in case it does get cold. So I'm able to keep some of my, my big stuff that I don't need on a reg regular basis um, in this compartment. So here's the two propane tanks and these um, are just fueling my refrigerator and my stove. And so one tank, um, like I said, lasts like a, a solid month. Um, and all I have to do is just flip. There's just a little switch over here um, when one runs out. And I just take them to places and get them refilled. And so it's a super cheap um, way of you know, being able to cook and, and run my refrigerator. So for me, <clears throat> this lifestyle works so well. It like honestly brings out the best version of me because I just super thrive on simplicity and I feel like the lifestyle is just so simple that it allows me to really focus on the things um, in life that really matter to me. And so I get to spend so much time outside and just feel super connected to nature and everywhere I park there are trails just everywhere. Um, and Sanders, I feel like I'm giving him like the best life possible because um, he just gets to go to these beautiful places and roam around and meet other dogs and people and um, he's just such a happy dog. Um, so, you know, if you find yourself similar to that, you know, if you really like a simple lifestyle and you like being outside and like running, I think, you know, this could really be an amazing uh, way to live. And it's definitely, you know, it was a little intimidating at first just because like any any change to like a new drastically different unknown way of life can be a little scary um, but then just like anything you know you trust the process and you get rolling and you just kind of get the hang of it Thank you from both of us for taking the time to, to come in and check out where we live. If you want to see more, mainly of Sanders, you can find us on Instagram at Sarah Marissa.
And I'm working on um, sharing photos from all the trails that I run in the different places that I go. And you can find that at trailruntravels.com. <laughs>